What's going on, guys? This is your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and we are back with another reaction. We are here once again with Hunter Hunter, and I have to say, man, this new power system, magic system, whatever you want to call it, Nen. I mean, so far the explanation is out of this world. And you guys are telling me in the comment section that it gets even better. So I am ready for whatever comes. Or maybe I'm not, to be honest. Because I don't know what they're going to... I mean, this power system is just... It's absolutely off the chain. I love the, the as I said, the explanation so far. Um, and there's still more way more to explain from what i understand from you guys so i mean and i have to say guys as as, as I, I know on the last video i you know i talked about you know the views and stuff like that it's not that big a deal <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm not complaining as i said before it's not a complaint it's more of like what am i doing wrong you know, um, and some people have said to me, you know, people like they don't like to go to another source for the video and stuff like that. Some people are saying, you know, um, people come, they click on the link um, and it doesn't count as a view. So you don't know. Um, but I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just saying that's something that somebody said to me that, you know, people will come and they'll just click on the link to go watch it on the Google Drive and. <clears throat> And, you know, it doesn't count as a view on YouTube because I don't know why that is. That's kind of weird because I thought as long as you click on the video, it count as a view. But I guess not. Um, do they have to watch a certain amount of the video for it to count as a view? Maybe. So I don't know. Maybe it's only like two, three hundred people that are actually watching the review of the video. Maybe that's the reason why. I get those views. You get what I'm saying as views, but maybe if that's the situation, then that's fine. You know, I don't know what it is. As I said before, I don't know what it is because, um, as I said, man, I cannot post these videos on YouTube. They get blocked. I know a lot of people post, you know, attack on Titan, all these other animes on YouTube. I just don't want to risk it because later on, these people they can claim your they can claim your videos and also on top of them claiming the videos you can also receive a copyright strike on your channel this is something that i've seen happen time and time again to reactors on youtube that i watch i've seen it when it when it comes on to when i'm what watching reactors do naruto and all these other ones and they will tell you about it they will tell you about it, that this is not no joke. You can lose your channel, and I don't want to work this hard and doing all of this stuff for this channel, and then they they take down my channel. Like, I'm not going to be happy, right? I'm not going to be happy, and I probably would never start a new channel. So I don't want that to happen, so I'm trying to go through the situation so that I don't have to do that. Now, if it's only... 200 300 people watching my videos are actually watching the reviews whatever the situation is i'm okay with it as i said before it is not a complaint it's more of like what am i doing wrong you know so that's all that was about i just want to address that off bat so what i would like to encourage you guys to do if you're watching this intro right now let me know in the comment section if you prefer to have your have the video on YouTube. You don't like to go to an outside source for it because if if that's the situation, that's okay. That's fine for the newcomers and stuff like that. I just want you guys to know this is a full reaction channel when it comes on to anime. There's no edits. There's no highlights. I'm not going to put highlights on YouTube because I do mostly super reactions. If I go to that method of putting stuff on YouTube and to, to have to deal with the consequences, I won't be able to do super reactions anymore. I won't be able to do three to four episodes every time I upload because I do not have the time to render out 
right? I do not have the time to render out a video that is two hours long to wait up at night to do that. I don't have the time to wait on a two hour long video to render out to upload to YouTube. I don't have that time. I already don't have enough time with this ridiculous schedule that I have right now. I don't. So I just want you guys to, to understand that off bat that like if you are new, you understand my situation and I hope you will continue to support me regardless of that situation. Okay. So I just wanted to, to address that, um, before we jump in to these reactions, I know some people, they don't like when I talk about, you know, personal stuff or whatever in my intros, but sometimes it's really needed and I have to, I have to do it. I would have left it for the review or after the video, but most people most likely won't see it at the end of the video because they might not stay for the review or after the review for me to address stuff like this. So I needed to address it right now. So I'm going to jump into these reactions, man. I'm not going to talk too much more. Let's jump in, go learn some more about the, this Nen power system in this anime Hunter Hunter. Loving these characters, man. Um, Kurapika is back. So is he? Why am I saying? Is Kurapika back? I think so, right? <laughs> what am I saying? Kurapika is back. Kurapika is not back. Why am I saying Kurapika is back? <laughs> oh my god. Who is... Hisoka! Oh my god. Hisoka is back. Not freaking Kurapika. Hisoka is back in the building and he knows how to use Nana. And a lot of you guys have been telling me that um, examples of Nana has already been introduced in the series. And I'm like, okay, I, I guess I completely missed it because I didn't know that was a thing. So there were examples of Nen before. Some people said, you know, gun hiding in the bush. At one point we saw, um, it said Hisoka used Nen against the guy that he, you know, when he caught the swords, when he was doing the hunter exam, like he used Nen there. Um, it said there's other examples of Nen. Um, Killua's brother used Nen. Um, but I didn't know about Nen, so I couldn't say that it was Nen. So... <laughs> You know what I mean? So, um, so I don't know yet. Let's go learn more about Nen and then I'll be able to probably remember some of that stuff and see, um, as you talk about that, didn't, um, dude, the dude that, um, the gatekeeper, didn't he use Nen to open the door? I remember when he, when he took his shirt off, he took, he took his, our jacket off, whatever. And then he did something like he, he went like this. Oh, right. And his whole, like you saw his aura and everything. And then he pushed the door. That was Nen or R or <laughs> whatever. So that was pretty cool. So let's jump into these reactions, man. I will see you guys for the review. All right, well, there you go, guys. I wanted to do three episodes, but we end up doing four episodes because of that fight, man. I didn't want to leave myself blue balled for till all the way till next week. So, finished up that fight. Definitely dopest fight so far in the series that I've watched so far. So, it's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Um, explanation of how Isoka uses Nen and also Castro using using Nen to create a duplicate a doppelganger a double Nen is something else <laughs> you know what I'm saying and the way how Hisoka did what he did too was dope how he won the fight um, what he did to win the fight, his ability is called Bungie Gum and Texture Surprise, right? Bungie Gum, Texture Surprise. Texture Surprise, he can mask, he can use a regular napkin and use Nen to manipulate it into looking like real skin. So, that's pretty dope. 
Because uh, at first I was like, oh, shit, this is a member of the, the troop. Kuropika don't even know who he trusts in. But, but Hisoka infiltrated the troop. He's masking as a troop member. I don't think old girl knows. Um, girl with the Nen stitches. Seems like she's a legit member of the troop. Um, but she doesn't know that that Hisoka is masking as a troop member. I wonder what is his goal in the troop. Why is he masquerading as a member of the troop? I don't know. I guess that's going to be revealed later. Also, the situation with Gun getting into that fight, that was pretty dope too. Um, got his ass beat because he didn't listen. Decided to go Zetsu mode where he's not pro he's not being protected by um by 10, right? I think I think that's the name of it by 10 cuz 10 you use 10 to um to protect yourself against Nen, right? So it's what you use to protect yourself. So when you go Zetsu, you pull all your aura in so you're not protected by 10. So your 10 disappears. So he went all natural senses, was dodging all the tops. But he ended up in a situation where he had to take a hit. They were all heading towards him. So he had to take the hit. It broke his arm, but he recovered in a month. Extraordinarily recovering in a month from a broken arm that's awesome because bones don't set that quick so he got those kind of recovering abilities um it's gonna be it's gonna go it's gonna be um but also i remember is it the same arm i'm trying to remember if it's the same arm he broke in the hunter exam that ninja dude broke his arm if it's the same arm, because he's supposed, they told him that when he recovers, his bones become stronger. But that's also, that's also true in real life too. Like when you break a bone, when it sets back, it sets back stronger. Um, in most situations, if you get give it enough time to heal without straining it, um, it does your bone does grow back stronger. It does set back stronger. Um, so that's why. You know, if you got a broken leg, broken arm, they tell you to stay off, stay off of it for a very long time. A month is a, is extraordinary, quick, quickly to be fully healed from a broken arm. So, no matter how you put it, that's very unlikely in real life. So, um, it's it, it it this anime is just it's it's that good. I'm glad that Kurupika has a teacher now too. So as I was saying, man, at the end of that episode, I was uh, out um understanding the the real hunter exam as they're calling it. Like they're saying the hunter exam is not over. As I said, man, it's too it wouldn't do the story any justice for it to be just coincidence that Kurupika met his met his teacher and gun and Killua met their teacher like it just it has to be you know what i'm saying and then the the um at the end there when he confirmed and he and he said that the the real hunter exam begins now or the true hunter exam begins now whatever the wording was um that confirmed it for me that none of this is coincidence there's no way wing is not a coincidence for gun and this guy, this new guy, he's not a coincidence for Kurapika. Like all of them that passed the hunter exam, the hunter association must have sent these guys to look for these guys and say, teach them about Nen so they can survive, okay, in the world. So, I mean, Kurapika can't even find work without knowing about Nen. So, it's an essential part of being a hunter, and they're making sure that their guys, the hunter, they're making sure that they you know have this experience but if they know about it before then i'm guessing they don't really send anybody to teach them um so it's dope that we're getting to see this this journey with Killua and gun i love their relationship their friendship is beyond their friendship is beyond so Killua is always looking out for for gun gun is always looking out for Killua. um and i love their relationship the the relationship is very quirky it's very friendly it's how you all i is how you would be at their age you know what i'm saying 12 years old both of them 12 years old you know they know when to get serious and they know 
you know, when to joke around, when to be quote unquote kids. I mean, they're 12 years old, they're not really kids anymore. You know, they're young, but they're not really kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, 12 years old is not really like from where I'm from, 12 years old is not, you're not a kid anymore. You're not a child anymore. Like, nobody's treating you like a child anymore. So I don't consider them to be child. I, 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 there is a reason why when you watch certain, when you watch so many different animes, like you have these young kids that are like 12 years old. I know it might be foreign to, you know, people in America and stuff like, like Americans, they think that you're 12 years old, like you can not be mature enough to do certain things. But in so many other countries, 12 years old, 12, 13, 14 years old, you're considered a fully grown person. I mean, most people, you know, most people go through puber puberty way before that. So, you know, it's just like, it's not strange to me that, you know, they're 12 years old and doing this, this stuff. It's a Japanese cartoon. I mean, I think Naruto started out at the same age too, at 12 at 12 years old, so it's not, it's not that so far fetched, you know what I mean? For them to be that age and be, maybe the abilities that they have is a bit, you know what I'm saying? Like it's stunning that they're 12 years old and able to do this stuff. Um, and also with Killua, Killua definitely, definitely, his life is just a, a freaking wonder. Like, you know what I mean? Like six years old he was sent to this evans arena to get the 200 floor or don't come home until you do that he did it in two years so that's awesome man i i love his character i love all all of the main characters man can't wait for leorio to get back to see what he's capable of um according to what he knows hopefully they do s send someone to train him to in nen that would be awesome so we know kurapika is going to learn about nen um, Killua and Gun wants to know more about Nen. Um, hopefully the next time he fights, it's gonna be a dope fight. Gun. Hopefully Killua gets in the ring, cause he's not interested right now. But old boy told him that that um you could win. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, I told you I'm not interested in fighting. But I I think that I think that he's gonna wanna fight. Because Gun is fighting, I think he's gonna want to fight up there, um, just because Gun is he's gonna feel the itch to to test these Nen abilities. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to that. So definitely, man. This was a cool episode, of course. Thank you guys for watching, man. All these four episodes with me, it's been awesome. Gotta go record some um, my Death Note reactions now. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reaction. Remember to like and comment in the comment down section. And I will see you guys for the next reaction next week. Peace and love always.